Square thinking, smart. Or circle thinking, intelligent. So now, what came first, the square or the circle? You decide. I already know what came first. Let's look at the square. <laughs> this person, he or she cuts corners. They cheat. Unspiritual and deceitful. Arrogant and unbalanced. Bringing pain. So the word smart means to bring pain. Look it up. It's in the dictionary. Needs to be controlled. No melanin? Nine times four equals 360 or 25% thought. Low energy, low frequency. So again, a square is divided in four directions. It is, it is basically 90 degrees on each corner. It's a right angle. It's only one quarter of a circle or one quarter of a thought. I circle thinking intelligent, yes. So, this person, he, she quickly finds solutions. They're very spiritual and trustworthy. They're really humbled and balanced. They bring wisdom. Free to explore. Melanin, 360 or complete thought. High energy, high frequency. You don't see the square cut in corners. It's one complete thought. It goes in only one direction and one directly only. It starts from one point from the beginning and it comes right back to the end so it's a complete thought it's consciousness it's 100 percent consciousness why you only have a square that's only 25 percent of consciousness because it cuts corners so it can't make up his mind in what direction to go let's keep on going the basic source peace is balance the body again the body is red the mind is black and the soul is green. The body, to the left, is what embraces the mind, the soul, together so it can function. No balance, the mind and soul will not function correctly. Like a house, it can be easily broken by thieves or invaders. If you get eat wrong foods, you got invaders, you got thieves. The mind, powerful and yet it has a weakness called doubt. Filled with fear causes chaos, confusion. Its thought creates or manifests what comes into being. So when you think, you react on that thought. And when you react on that thought, that thought comes into being. It comes into existence. So whatever you do, whatever you think, and if your mind is to the point where it's a 360 deg 60 degrees of thought, you can bring that thought into action. You can bring that thought into being. Self-creative. That is being self-creative right then and there. The soul is expressive. That's why it's green, because it's the heart. It's, it's, it's feminine. It's, it's female. The mind is masculine. So when you have the mind and the soul together, you create the body. you got creation. So again, without the mind, you don't have no body, you have no soul. Without the soul, you have no mind, you have no body. Without the body, you have no mind, and you have no soul. Well, let's find out and see if this is correct or not. The mind is masculine. So that means it's what? It's matter. So it, it always matters. So the mind is matter. So that means that the mind can never be destroyed. It can be manipulated, but it cannot be destroyed. That means it's forever and ever existing. So again, the soul is expressed and feeds the mind, wisdom, and knowledge. It generates and, uh, and activates as a source or soul, soul power. So in other words, the soul is nothing but sun energy. It's solar powered by the sun. It's the heart that has a deep love, earthly green. The same green that you see outside is the same green in your heart. That same form of expression, that same form of love, that same form of soul is in the is in the it's in the earth. It's green. This is how the earth expresses herself. She lets you know how much she loves you by the color green. This is why a lot of people look at green as being money. This is why they go after it so much.
Four elements, scientific view. Fire, mind, to the right. Earth, body. Water, spirit. Air, soul. These are four elements. So we went over, We already went over the soul, the, the mind, and the body. Now we're going to talk about the spirit. These four elements are very crucial. These four elements are very crucial for the life to exist. Fire, the consciousness, or the what? The processor of, the, of a computer. So the mind or fire is the processor of a computer. The earth, the body, or the motherboard in which the parts are all connected to. Air, the oxygen or coolant that keeps the body from overheating. Water, the blood or the memory. Get it? Blood cells. Blood cells. So the blood or the memory that keeps the system stable. You got no blood, you got a bad system. Your, your system will crash. That's the spirit. Your blood is your spirit. Now let's look at the, the different view called uh, purified concepts. Fire, earth, air, and water. Fire represents Asar, the father, the protector. Earth, Aset, Isis, mother land. She is the mother. Air, Haru, the sun, creation. Okay? So in other words, he's what? What kind of sun here? See, he's, 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 the, he's the air. He's the one that supports. He's the one who gives you life. When you breathe and breathe out, he's the creation. You see? Water. Set. He's the uncle. He's the provider. He's the spirit. He's the one that is either high or low, depending on your blood type. So set or water. The uncle. He's the provider. Spirit. The fire and water. They're both brothers. So fire and water are brothers. They are competing for the same earth. The woman. In order to make a beautiful creation. Depending on who has the upper hand, who will survive here? Earth is only one that can make the choice and whom she wants to create with. Either she's going to use water or she's going to use fire to create. Any which one, it's her choice. Self-creation, the greatest story ever told. We can see here that nature or nature is the basic coming ground. Solution, woman is on top because she decides of the on the child, male or female, that will be created through her. So again, you can see female being woman or feminine. We can see nature being mother. And we can see creation being a child. And what kind of child it's gonna it's gonna be up to Mother Nature. It's gonna either be masculine or feminine, or male or female. Earth, again, earth is the body, the water is the spirit, and only the spirit or the water will tell you what kind of mind and, and, and soul you have. So by the condition of your mind will give you warning, and by the condition of your heart, you would be what? You'll be heated up. So depending on your soul, You'll, depending on your soul, it's also depending on your mind. So the more powerful your mind is, the more powerful your soul is. And the water's there to cool you down, to keep you stable. If you have bl bad blood or bad water in you, you have a bad soul and a bad mind. Uh, this is getting a little bit deeper here. This is the earth versus the body. So, to the far left on top, you have air, fire, earth, and water. These are the four elements. All four of them matter. Why do they matter? Because air and fire create hotness. Fire and earth matter because they make dryness. Earth and water matter because they make cold. Water and air matter because they make wet. So, we can see by the color code that hot is based of what? Of the air and the fire. Dryness is based on fire and the earth. Cold is based on earth and water. 
Wetness is based on air and water. You can look at these elements here. The next stop right here is called the classic elements. These are the basic elements in which they teach in science. Ether is matter or the black matter. So that has 12 sides. Why does it have 12 sides? Think about that for a moment. Space. What else has 12 sides or, or 12 consciousnesses? Or 12 angels? The zodiac. So yes, the zodiac does matter. So why are they telling you that it doesn't matter when it's been created since the very beginning? So in other words, they're saying that the zodiac doesn't matter? Come on, people, you got to put your head together here. They're, they're playing with your mind. Let's go down to the next step. So I'll, I'll keep it here. You guys can go ahead and look at it for a little bit, and let's go back down to the next one. The conclusion of the story. Let's find out and see the conclusion. What is your view about the Holy Trinity? What is your view? Did God create women from the rib of Adam or man? Religion, Christianity, is a program designed to give you false reality. Science is based on facts that without weight or any faith, it will it'll outweigh any uh, faith or belief. Science is religion when you think about it. It's a, it's a form of religion. It's a form of mathematics. It makes sense when you start studying it out. Melanin is the substance in in us that makes us matter. So us who are, are melanin-based, we matter. Those who don't have melanin don't matter. No melanin, no power, no soul. Those who have melanin have power, have soul. Plain and simple. We're talking science here. Therefore, no soul, no solar light. It's artificial energy or unnatural source. The female connection, her story, not his story. That's right. It's all about the female here. It's a female story, not a male story. Why does the male want to be on top? Why? Because he don't want the women to rule. He don't want the women to be there on top to go ahead and do her thing. If the women's off balance, therefore the earth is off balance. If the women's off balance, the whole entire universe is off balance. The black woman is the source of our energy. She's the one who sustains us. Once we give her honor, she's the one. Why do you think everything is all, all messed up right now? Because we're not loving the black women. If we love the black women, then therefore the black man can be embraced. And then everything will find balance. Creation is designed to be feminine, not masculine. The role is creation, is woman versus protector, man, in order to provide for a better future, a universal standing. The woman is the creator, the man is the protector, and then once you both put you guys, when both we both put ourselves together, we're providing for a better universal standing. The universal connection, one, to the power of three, or one times one times one, is the triune or trinity. In simple terms, the one, the one body, the one mind, or the one soul, is the most family reunion, God. So who is the most high? The most high is a family reunion. That means that you have to have a father, you have to have a mother, and you have to have a child. The child is the creation. You can't have two men to create. That's impossible. You cannot do that. You have to have male and female in order to create. So I hope this will satisfy. I really hope that you are really satisfied with this. Please do yourself a favor. Go to the library. Open up some books and start studying. Stop taking people's word for truth and you accepting it without doing your own homework.